So today I'm going to chat to you a little bit about how you can form better nutrition habits. So what are the key steps for forming better habits? First, you want to look at what you're currently eating. So write down, keep a couple of days of a written food diary, write down everything you eat and drink in the day from when you get up and when you go to bed. So keep a written diary for a few days and then reflect back and find some particular areas that you might want to improve on. So a good place to start is looking at the five core food groups. So they are our fruits, vegetables, whole grains, dairy and lean proteins. So have a look at your food diary that you've kept for a few days. See if there's any particular food groups that you're lacking. Once you've worked out what you actually want to improve, we want you to set a really specific goal. So start by writing down what you actually want to change. So if you want to increase your fruit intake and you want to meet the two serves per day recommendation, then write down, I want to increase my fruit intake and add some more specific detail. So I want to eat two pieces of fruit per day and I want to do this seven days a week. So be really specific about how much you want to eat and how frequently you want to do that. So it's okay to make smaller steps. So small steps, it's much easier to be a lot more consistent and consistency is the key when forming new habits. So it's not until we repeat the behavior over and over and over again and get some more consistency that we actually turn that into a habit. Then have a think about how you need to change your environment to make it more conducive to you meeting that goal. Do you need to go shopping and make sure that you have all the right types of food in the house to meet your goal? Or is it something that you want to limit and not have in the house to help you meet that goal of limiting intake of that particular food? Do you need to learn a little bit more about food so that you know the right types of foods that are going to help you meet a particular goal? And then have a think about any barriers that you might come up against. So it's really important for us to try and predict these ahead of time, not so that we um, predict that we're going to fail, but just so that we can put some measures in place just in case we do come across any stumbling blocks. Have a think about how you're going to track your progress and when you're going to review your progress. So some people like keeping a food diary. If it's an exercise goal, some people like using their fitness watch. So what is a way that you can keep track of your progress so that at the end of a week or a fortnight or a month, you can reflect back and say, okay, well, my goal was to eat two pieces of fruit seven days a week. And I'm gonna check my food diary that I've been keeping and check whether I have actually been able to meet that or not. Don't forget you can always come and see a health professional and we're at Nutrient Nation based at McDonald Jones Stadium and we're always happy to chat to you more about helping you progress towards your goals. So I hope that that has helped you um, have a think a little bit more about how you can progress towards your goals and how you can set some new goals for yourself. So we wish you all the luck in making some new nutrition habits.